But as a jiu-jitsu person, my workspace is usually a lot closer than a person who's at the end of their hands, who's a striker, and perhaps the Aikido people um, prefer to work a little bit more at the arms length. So I'm gonna start from this position today, okay? We're just staying nice and close to the person. I've got my hands in this position over here. The technique that we're gonna start with is really, really simple. I'm gonna do a little bit of a penetrating step. Okay, so I'm doing a penetrating step right here. I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna grab the leg. I'm gonna lift it up with my legs, place my own leg behind it, and I'm gonna let them go. Okay, we're just gonna keep it really, really simple for now and just nice and gentle. So I'm nice and close in here. Deep penetrating step, bend, lift, place my leg behind, and I'm just pushing with my body and running through him, running, running through him to knock him over. Really, really simple to start. Yeah. All right, so the first thing is my positioning is important, okay? If I try and lift from here, it's impossible for me to lift from here, all right? I have to be close enough to bend my legs and to use the power of my legs to do the lifting. Which leads me to the putting my head down to lift thing, which I'm sure that in the last session we were told not to put our head down because it's a bad place to be. Because if I'm over here, he's going to do all like, He wants to do bad things to me over here, all right? Plus, it doesn't really give me anything extra. Right, being in this position. Right? The last thing is where you grab the leg. Now, as nice as it is to get all the way to the ankle to pick this up, right, it's a long way to go down to get to the ankle. Right? So I don't need that. I just need to get a little lift and take a space. Right there. Okay? So I'm in this position in here, stepping close up. Oh, he's really falling down for me. Cool, that looks a bit nice. Cool. Coming in here, sit on close, up, take the knee, and there he goes. Okay, let's mix and mingle. Get somebody slightly bigger if you had somebody who was small. Smaller if you had somebody big. Maybe. Okay, so, hopefully, in this position, right? You've ended up making space somehow, and you've ended up with a hopper. Okay? And a hopper I mean is somebody who tries to hop in this position all the way through. Okay? We're not too worried about hoppers, okay? but if we do get a hopper, all we need to do is redirect them towards the way we want them to hop, which is in this direction. Right? And then we just place our leg behind and he'll hop to the floor as opposed to just going down to the floor. He adds a bit of extra hop to it. Okay? So hoppers are not a big deal, plus we haven't added in our spare arm yet. Okay? So in this position over here, I've still got the spare arm. I can do this. All right? He doesn't want to hop. He wants to fall down. Yeah. All right? Cool. I could push this down here at the same time. You know, that's the spare arm. I don't even have to use my leg if I'm really lazy in this position. Cool. All right? So in this position in here, right? we can take this. All right? We can turn him a little bit and then push him similar to what we were doing in the last session. Okay? I've still got a spare arm. This technique works without even having to use my spare arm. Okay? And I've still got my right arm available to be able to add to that. Um, so that's something that we can play with later. But what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to hold on nice and tight to this one. Okay? We're going to do the nasty version. It was a Bible here. Light flashed before his eyes. <laughs> Pop into this position. Load up here. I'm coming in closer this time, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reap his leg out from underneath him. So I'm going to break through with this arm. Okay? Right there. Okay? I'm giving him the break, because I don't know what his break falls are going to be like, but in real life, he probably doesn't have any break falls. Okay? So I'll just go through the basic idea. So, step, load, come through, and reap the leg. Okay, so we're going in and reaping the leg, so the leg is no longer there. Okay, so that's a much more violent way for somebody to fall down. To make it safer in practice, just get a hold of the other person's gi, hold on to it, you hold on to them, and you can make them fall down a little bit more gently. Okay, in real life, they fall down. But I've still got this leg. Okay, so in this position, I could maybe go for something like this, pass the leg, and use that to try and get to the side as well. Or, I might have screwed up. As I'm coming in here, I might have lifted this up and it's kind of in front of me. 
right? Instead of me being on the outside in here, and I need to transition to the other side. Okay, so if I've transitioned to the other side over here, it's actually quite difficult for here to go and track with this leg. So luckily I brought another one along. So we'll this one. And we can do it this way. Okay, so we'll do it, we'll do it intentionally wrong. Intentionally wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna to step to the outside this time. I'm gonna step here, I'm gonna grab his leg. Exactly the same way as I did before. I'm gonna place my leg behind him and take his face. So doing exactly the same move, but we're doing it from the outside as opposed to from the inside. Okay? Have a go.